हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम अपना जो कल वाला टॉपिक अधूरा रह गया था उसे पूरा करेंगे चलिए शुरू करते हैं आई वेंट बैक टू माई हाउस मेड माई सेल्फ अ कप ऑफ टी एंड रीड टिल डिनर टाइम आफ्टर डिनर आई रीड अगेन प्लेड टू और थ्री गेम्स ऑफ पेशेंस listen to the news on the radio and took a detective story to bed with me i finished it and went to sleep except for a few words to my colored maids i hadn't spoken to a soul all day so i passed my 70th birthday and so i would have wished to pass it I mused. Two or three years ago, I was walking with Lisa, and uh, she spoke. I don't know why of the horror with the which I thought of old age filled her. Don't forget, I told her that when you are old, you won't have the desire. to do various things that make life pleasant to what she said she asked well you need hardly ever do anything you don't want to you can enjoy music art and literature differently from when you were young but in that different way as keenly you can get a good deal of fun out of observing the course of events in which you are no longer intimately concerned if your pleasures aren't so vivid your pains also have lost their sting i could see that all this seemed cold comfort and even as i spoke i realized that it afforded a somewhat gray prospect when later i came to think it over it occurred to me that the greatest greatest compensation of old age is its freedom of spirit i supposed that i accompanied by a certain indifference to many of the things that men in their prime think important another compensation is that it liberated you from envy hatred and malice i do not believe that i envy anyone i have made the most i could of such gifts as nature provided me with i do not envy the greater gifts of others i have had a great deal of success i do not envy the success of others i am quite willing to vacate the little niche i have occupied so long and let an other step into it i no longer mind what people think of me they can take me or leave me i am mildly pleased when they appear to like me and undisturbed if i know they don't i have long known that there is something in me that antagonizes certain persons i think it very natural no one can uh, like everyone and their ill will interests rather than discomposes me i am only curious to know that what it is in me that's antipathetic to them no do i mind what they think of me as a writer on the whole i have done what i set out to do 
and the rest doesn't concern me. I have never much cared for notoriety which surrounds the successful writer and which many of us are simple enough to mistake for fame. And I have often wished that I had written under a pseudonym so that I might have passed through the word unnoticed. I did indeed write my first novel under one and only put my own name to it because my publisher warned me that the book might be violently attacked and I didn't wish to hide myself under a made-up name. I suppose few authors can help cherishing a secret hope that they wouldn't be entirely forgotten the moment they die. And I have occasionally amused myself by weighing the chances I have of survival for a brief period.